Today's topic of discussion is drug therapy for cough. Hello and welcome to Pharmacomania. I'm Dr. Shanaz Malik and we are going to discuss pharmacotherapy for cough. So what is cough? Cough is a physiological uh, useful protective mechanism and uh, which is helpful to clear the respiratory tract from mucus plug or foreign body. So it is a very important reflex and it is due to simulation of the mechano or the chemoreceptors are present in the respiratory tract as well as stretch receptor are present in the lungs. So whenever this stimulation occur, cough will occur. So cough is one kind of the symptom and uh, it is a long term um, consistent cough is quite distressing and exhausting. So it uh, need to suppress. Now type of the cups, cough. Uh, there are two types of cough, non-productive cough and productive cough. Non-productive cough is uh, called as a useless cough. It considered as serving no purpose. So it called useless cough and it should suppress, which is increase the discomfort to patients. So it should suppress and sometimes uh, cerebral hypoxia, rupture of pullas and may uh, fracture of rib can occur. So it should suppress. Other one is the productive cough, which is associated with excess sputum and conditions like bronchi uh, chronic bronchitis and bronchiectasis, where sputum is more so it should uh, it may be harmful to suppress. So in the productive cough, it should be clear the airway. So now merits of the cough is that sometimes it is beneficial and remove excess secretion and harmful foreign bodies. And demerits is uh, it is harmful in such condition like a hernia repair, a surgery, ocular surgery, where it increase the uh, intraocular pressure and harmful in the hernia repair, repair surgery. Now etiology of the curve. So it is due to uh, upper respiratory as well as lower respiratory tract infection, post nasal trip due to sinusitis and which causes post nasal trip and which causes irritation to the throat so cough can occur and smoking and chronic bronchitis pulmonary tuberculosis asthmatic cough gastrointestinal reflex and drug like the captopil and iodide this all condition cough can occur and it may be due to stimulation of the mechanism or these are the various drugs for the cough so there are two types of the cough First group is the pharyngeal demulcent expectorant, which are useful for the productive cough, and another group is the antitussive drug, which is useful in dry cough. Drugs for the productive cough. There are two groups: pharyngeal demulcent and expectorant. So pharyngeal demulcent give the soothing effect. Drugs are lozenges, syrup, glycerin, and lycoris. These all drugs give the soothing effect. Other group is the expectorant. There are another uh, subdivided in two groups, secretion enhancer and mucolytic. Uh, so whenever there are uh, thick and scanty sputum, so uh, secretion enhancer increase the secretion and, uh, and uh, helpful for the expect um, the thick um, scanty sputum. Another is the mucolytic, which degrade the thick mucus plug and helpful in the uh, expect the sputum. So drug used uh, in the productive cough like uh, demulcent and expectorant. So demulcents are act as a soothing agent and symptomatic give the symptomatic relief to throat and reduce afferent impulse and act by increased flow of the saliva. An expectorant like a mucokinetic, which increase bronchial secretion like uh, uh, examples are sodium and sodium and potassium citrate. Irritation of bronchial mucosa drugs are iodide and enhance the secretion. And enhance bronchial secretion by uh, mucociliary functions and drugs are gofenesin and vasaka. Ammonium salts are increased nauseating, filling, and reflex stimulation of bron bronchial secretion. So these all drug increase the secretion. 
Now, mucolytic. Mucolytics are bromhexin, ambroxol, acetylcysteine, and carbocysteine. So, drug bromhexin derived from the vasaka vas vas increased bronchial secretion and depolymerize mucopolysaccharides in the bronchial secretion and it acts directly as well as indirectly through liberating lysosomal enzyme. Fibers of the sputum are breakdown and useful in mucous plug breakdown. Ambroxol is act as a similar to bromexin. Acetylcysteine break down the sulfide bond in the polysaccharide of bronchial secretion and respiratory tract administration. And carbocysteine also act similar to acetylcysteine. Now, antitussive drug like uh, opioid, codeine, ethyl morphine, and folcodine. Non opioid drug are noscapine, dextromethorphan, and chlorphenidone. Antihistaminic are chlorphenidamine, diphenhydramine, and promethazine. These, are, uh, these all drugs are antitussive and useful in the dry cough. Antitussive drug uh, act via CNS, uh, act by raising the threshold of cough center. Also, peripherally by reducing the cough impulses, it is useful in dry and non-productive cough, uh, unusually tiring cough, disturbed sleep, hazardous hernia, piles, cardiac disease, and ocular surgery. In all conditions where the dry cough is there, we can use this antitussive drug. Antitussive drug like the codeine and folcodeine. Codeine is the uh, opioid is uh, uh, opioid alkaloid methyl morphine and partially converted into morphine and it is less potent than the morphine and degree of analgesia is equivalent to aspirin 60 milligram but more selective to cough center and action lasts for the six, uh, six hours and low abuse liability and uh, action is uh, blocked by the naloxan and drawbacks are constipation, respiratory depression and drowsiness at higher doses. And folcodine is uh, uh, no analgesia as well as addictive liability and its action is longer acting. Now, noscapine and dexomethorphan are non-opioid group of um, anti tussive uh, drug. So, noscapine is from op opioid alkaloid, depresses cough, but no analgesic activity, narcotic or dependency liability, equipotent with the codens in uh, like spasmodic cough and histamine release so it is avoided in asthmatic patient dextromethorphan it is the synthetic derivative and effective as codeine but no addictive or constipation property no impairment of the mucociliary function but dissociative effect is there now adjuvant antitussive drug like a bronchodilator salbutamol and terbutaline now, histamine and bronchodilator. Histamine can be useful in the allergic type of cough and drugs are chlorphenamine, diphenhydramine and promethazin are used as a sedative and anticholinergic effect. And bronchodilator like salbutamol and terbutaline, bronchospasm can induce cough and constriction and hyperactivity of bronchial smooth muscle. So, bronchodilator relieve the cough by improving clearance during spasm. Now, specific treatment approach to cough, like etiology of cough and treatment approach. So, first is the upper as well as lower respiratory tract infection. In this condition, appropriate antibiotics should be given in smoking, chronic bronchitis and bronchiectasis. In this condition, cessation of smoking, avoidance of pollutant, steam inhalation and postural drainage should be done. Pulmonary tuberculosis, anti-tubercular drugs should be introduced. In asthmatic cough, inhalation of beta-2 agonist, corticosteroids and epratropium bromide. Cough in pulmonary eosinophilia, diethyl carbamazine citrate and inhaled corticosteroid. Post-nasal drip due to sinusitis, antibiotic, nasal decongestant and H1 antihistaminic drugs should be given. Post nasal drip due to allergic and perineal rhinitis, avoidance of or of the precipitation of factor, precipitating factor, corticosteroid nasal spray, 
and H1 antihistaminic should be introduced. In gastroesophageal reflex, bad head elevation, lighter dinner, diet modification, H2 blockers, proton pump inhibitor and mozapride should be given. In AC inhibitor associated curve like um, drug induced curve, substitute of AC inhibitor like angiotensin receptor antagonist or NSAID may reduce cough. Post viral cough, no specific treatment is required which subside by itself. Thank you for watching the video.